Hi, yeah, it's Meredith, and uh, coming at you from my mylar balloon jacket. I wanted to buy something that I don't um, wouldn't normally get myself, and this definitely qualifies. It is warm. I love this jacket, but I've been cold today, so I'm here at the gym. Don't know what I'm about to go do. If I'm gonna start on the treadmill. I don't feel great, uh, but having tummy issues today, I feel a little nauseous, and then I've had some diarrhea, so I wanted to do a workout that I had done two weeks ago. It's like um, 9, 15, 21, calorie row, kettlebell swings, goblet squats, and then like the tricep behind your head dealio with the kettlebell. That sounds a little intense for how I feel at the moment, so I hate to come to the gym to just go on the treadmill. But I'm just going to walk until, I'm just going to see. <laughs> so my plan is to walk and then maybe do some like kettlebell and dumbbell uh, strengthening exercises. Anyway, but that's not what this video is about. Um, I decided to title this video, Where Am I Now? Uh, physically, currently still in Spokane, Washington, but I have purchased a ticket back to Shanghai. Um... Lord willing, I'll leave on the 18th of March and then arrive on the 20th because the 20th is when our school said we had to be back by. There's no official date that the government has set out. But actually, I wanted to talk about um, my weight from pre-op surgery and um, these almost, yeah, there's five years in between. So, uh highest weight that I saw was about 370 pounds um that was like end of uh end of 2014 beginning of 2015 um my surgery day weight was 310 and then um I think the lowest I saw uh about a year later was a, was close to 170 so I had lost about 200 pounds from my highest recorded weight and then um it's it's yo-yoed since then um for different reasons but the biggest one being that i just put food in my mouth <laughs> i i don't i don't have any ex real excuses to make um and uh things that would just like help explain why i put food in my mouth but not 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 any, not any other reasons. I mean, it was my, my fault. So I've, uh, I had regained, um, up to like almost all of the weight that I lost in surgery. So, uh, gosh, I didn't do that math. 310. I guess I lost about like 140 pounds from the surgery and I, I regained 120 pounds. So, um, when I say that I've yo-yoed, I, I mean, it's like I would lose some and then I would gain it back plus a little bit more. And then I would lose some, then gain it back plus a little bit more over the years since, since July 2016. Yeah. So, um, and I had my surgery in 2015, May 25th, 2015. I don't think I said that. Um, so in December of 2019, mid-December, I was, I weighed in around 290 pounds. On Friday, I was like 261. So I've lost about 30 pounds, um, since mid-December in about three months. And I feel very positive. I feel, um... Uh, yeah, just, I'm determined to have a really good mindset and to keep moving forward and to really, really focus on my mindset being that this is for health, this is for life, um, and, yeah, and when I say this, I guess I mean like the weight loss and the eating well part and the, and the physical fitness, you know, it's not a get rich quick scheme not a get thin quick scheme because I lost 200 pounds in about 18 months and to regain 120 of it it's like okay I've been there done that I don't want to do it for speed now I want to do it for life so I don't have real time-bound weight loss goals per se 
in 2020, by the time I get to the end of 2020, I would like to be around 100 kilograms, which is about 220 pounds. Um, and after that, I'd like to get, have another 50 off to get back to 170. I felt, I think I looked really good at 170 and I felt good. So, and I, according to BMI, I should be around like 140, 145. And that would be, but like BMI is not the perfect measure. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at and I don't want to keep these videos super long. So I just, um, I've got other videos in mind and, uh, with clickbaity titles, like I regret weight loss surgery, which is not really true. Uh, I do wish that I could have done this all without having had surgery. I don't regret having surgery because I, that's what I chose to do. And I don't want to live with regret. Like, I don't think that's positive and doesn't really do anything. But I do wish that I could have figured all of this out without having gone through with it. But I'll explain all my things with that a bit more so anyway yeah so this this time moving forward um i'm really focused on that mindset of for health for life and uh not a get not a get rich quick scheme not a get thin quick scheme so that's that's really what i've been working on and it's, it's hard uh yeah even today it's hard um, last night it was hard struggled with some binge mindset I didn't really binge I ate past the point of satiety um, probably ate more yesterday than I needed and then I'm really struggling today with like feeling like oh well you just messed everything up and I was like logically I know that's not true but I don't believe it when I say it um, but what I do believe is like, you know, I have these bad feelings now and I know they're going to pass and, and that I know is true. Like, oh, greatest battles are waged in the mind, aren't they? All right. So I'm going to go in the gym. Maybe I will find a YouTube video to watch. Got some. Yeah. So we'll see what I end up doing. All right. I love you and Jesus loves you more. It's true.